Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm asking the question, can a battery's internal capacity increase? Well, this comes up because when I first got the scan my Tesla app back in, was it November I think of 2019, uh, I was at 70, 72.1 kilowatt hours of internal uh, battery capacity. I did a video on it. And then recently I did a video where I was at, uh, at 72.6 kilowatt hours. And, and it's not that it was just a one-time aberration. I was at that 72.1 when I got the app for an extended period of time. Uh, and then uh, it actually went down to 71.1, and I'll get to that in a minute. It was, it was there for about a week. And then it went up to 72.6, and it hung out at 72.6 for some time. Now, for the last almost week, it's been at 72.9. And I'm now I've done a little bit of research on on this online, and I can't find any definitive answers. So maybe one of you guys are a battery engineer and can give me some um, some information on this. But it is um, again, it's currently at 72.9, and um, on the screen it is uh, the second column in, third row down. You'll see nominal full pack 72.9, and then you'll see three three data points to the right. Uh, it says energy buffer 3.3 kilowatt hours, but that 72.9 is the important one. And um, I, uh, when I when I first got the app, it was 72.1. And I, uh, since I had gotten the app, I was doing a bunch of acceleration testing and testing current draw. And I was just, I was flooring the car everywhere. And I noticed that it had dropped. It said nominal full pack. It was down at 71.1. And it was like that for some time. Well, the thrill of being able to watch how much power I was drawing through the app kind of wore off. And I began hypermiling the car. And it went up to 72.6. And it was there for a while. Now, for the last, I think, four days, five days, it's been at 72.9 every single day. Well, I've been hypermiling the car. Just I put my, uh, my 18 inch arrow wheels and tires back on and I've been hypermiling the car just just to do it because I have better range with these tires just to see what kind of range I can get in the winter time and um, that hypermiling coincides with the battery capacity going back up so I'm not I, I'm this is not a video saying hey if you drive your car cautiously and hypermile it you're gonna gain battery capacity but it does seem to be odd that it was at 72.1 and then as I was doing a lot of acceleration testing and flooring the car everywhere, my nominal full pack was 71.1. Then as I've been hypermiling, it went up to 72.6. Now it's at 72.9 kilowatt hours. And I've the only thing that I've changed is the way I've been driving. I'm still charging to 80% each morning, and then I get up and turn it up to 90% to get some heat into the pack. Uh, and the temperature right now, it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit but it's been within 10 degrees or so of this temperature for the the bulk of this winter so it's not a temperature thing the only thing i can think of is potentially as i've been driving the car more cautiously maybe the the battery management system has been able to balance the cells better i, I don't know but i also uh the um the the app will give you a, a cell imbalance reading as well and that cell imbalance hasn't really changed so I'm not sure exactly what's going on uh, with this, but uh, I, I'm wondering if you guys have any input on it. So maybe I'll do some testing where I'll start flooring it a lot again and see if my, my nominal full pack reduces. But, uh, but I thought you guys would get a kick out of, out of seeing this and uh, this data. For those of you that have been watching the channel, you'll remember again when it was at 72.1, then it was recently 72.6, now it's 72.9. And again, not a one-time thing. This has been every single day, all day long, that I get in the car for the last four or five days, uh, it has been at 72.9. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. By all means, let me know if there's any questions that you have, if, if there's any specific data points that you'd like to see uh, on, in the Scan My Tesla app. This is the, the screen that I normally drive with, and um, it shows uh, rotor power and speed. And then I also use uh, this other screen, which is battery voltage, battery power, uh, watt hours per mile consumption, 
rear stator temp, cell temperature, and speed. So love the Scan My Tesla app. I uh, use it every single day and uh, definitely something that I highly recommend. And if you guys want to see something specific regarding the app or the Model 3, then go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. So anyway, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And as always, stay charged. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye now.